So welcome to Unrestricted View Film Festival. Um, my name's James Wren, I'm the festival director. And today for um, Meet the Actors and Writers, I'm joined by Oriane Pick and Rachel uh, Mariam, who are from Call It A Day series, uh, which is a, a part of the web series competition uh, in our film festival. Um, hello guys, how are you doing? You all right? Hi. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I mean, I know you kind of, it was a, this project is very much the two of you uh, driving this project. Um, so if I go to Ariane first, um, where did the idea come from? Um, so as actors, we've, we've, all, well, we've always wanted to find roles that really um, represented us so that could, we could relate to. And it was, it was becoming harder and harder for some reason. So we just decided to create something that we've, well, like characters that we've always wanted to portray on screen. And that's when we just started to brainstorm, um, had a few glasses of wine to come up with the idea. And, and then, yeah, that's how Call It Today was born, I guess. So we just started to talk about the characters and then Rachel wrote this um, the whole season. Right. Um, and Rachel, how many episodes in the season? So it's six uh, episodes that are about between 12 and 13 minutes each. Mm. Fantastic. And so... Um, I mean, it follows these, these two characters for each episode, yes? So, I mean, is the idea um, to uh, sort of sell it on as a TV idea or, um, sorry, something just fell off my desk, but, um, sell it on as a TV idea or, or is, there, is it something you want to carry on as a web series? Um, Rachel? Uh, no, so the, the season one was made as a web series more as a pitch to try and get it picked up by networks. So the idea is definitely to do like a half hour series format. Um, I'm actually working on the pilot for the half hour format of it. And so yeah, the idea was that season one was kind of like a pitch for, for networks to get the series one done again, but with a proper network and, and a longer format. Oh, well, fantastic. And, um, and so, um, Ariane, I mean, have you two worked together before? Or is this the first time you, you sort of got together on a project? So we kind of did. So I was working on another web series before, uh, which was at your festival last year yes. called Just Saying. And uh, Rachel was part of the cast for the last episode of the series. And that's how we started to really act together. We had met before in an acting class as well. So we kind of knew that we wanted to do something together. We weren't really sure what just yet. And then after shooting the last episode of my previous series, it just, it all came together and we realized we just needed to do something bigger and in terms of production as well, like a, a bigger crew, um, more budget and just, um, you know, work on like bigger characters as well. And, and at what point um, did you get Kieran on board? On board? Because Kieran Bourne um, directed it, didn't he? And he, he also directed your last web series, I believe, did he? Um, I yes, think he did he, as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah he so, directed um, some of the episodes from the last um, series, yeah. So for Akali today, we knew we wanted to work with people that we fully trusted or had worked with before or that came to us, you know, really highly recommended um, because it was such an intimate um, set as well. And there was so much going on. We knew it had to be this way. And so we approached Karen Bourne right at the beginning. He was really enthusiastic. Was He just couldn't wait to get on board and um, was like part of it from the start to finish, really. Um, so yeah, it was, it was very, very exciting. Oh, fantastic. Um, I have to say, I love the chemistry of you two on screen together. That was definitely, you, you could see, I know it made me laugh at the beginning when you said you had a glass of wine and um, in, in that episode, you're very much doing that. And that was, uh, it, it just looked like you were the best of friends. It's very, very good. Um, <laughs> so did you, um, when you, when you were shooting, did you do sort of like it episodically or just one big chunk or? Or did you do it over several weeks each episode? How did the shoot go? Um, Rachel. <laughs> so because so we basically decided to shoot per location. So right. we shot everything not in order. <laughs> so the first thing we actually shot was the one of the last scenes of episode six uh, for my character. And the first scene for Orin was episode three. So yeah, just out of practicality and budget, we just decided to do chunks and blocks by locations. So we were going to one location, shooting everything there, uh, which was a bit hard when it comes to continuity because we had a lot of costume changes, makeup changes. Uh, we had to make sure that everything was 
well done and really well continuous. Uh, so yeah, it was shot by location rather than chronologically. And I think in terms of acting as well, that made it so difficult sometimes for us because yeah. we had to go from, I remember one episode, mm -hmm. so episode one, um, so the pilot, I, my character was going through her engagement party and she was super, super happy, obviously. And then, I don't know, as soon as we stopped that specific scene, I had to go through a scene that was completely different. It was a meltdown and it's just having to balance all of the emotions and go into that mindset. Mm. Um, as an actor, I know I learned a lot from that and I'm sure Rachel did as well. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's tough. I mean, I mean, often, you know, episode, episodes out of order sort of sequence is one thing, but series is, yeah, that's quite a big step, isn't it? Cause a character can go a long way in a series and... Um, yeah. 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 Um, so, all right. Um, what's good? So, I'm just going to um, ask you a couple of questions. Um, let's start with you, Ariane. Um, who is your favorite actress? Oh, um, tough one. I've got a few, and for very different reasons. Um, first one, and someone that really inspired me recently was, I would say, uh, Reese Witherspoon only because she's got her production company and she's bringing to screen female characters that we hadn't seen before. And I love that. And I love how she's doing that. Um, one that I think is just absolutely amazing in every part that she plays is Olivia Colman. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when you see her from The Favourite and then you see her in Fleabag, it's completely different and she's so authentic and she's so funny. And I don't know, I just, well, The Crown as well. I just find her absolutely amazing um yeah so i would say those two i mean phoebe waterbridge is just amazing as an actress is everything basically <laughs> that she does um so she's a big inspiration as well so yeah i would say those three probably fantastic and same question to you rachel well it's gonna be pretty similar to orion saying <laughs> 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 we have the same references definitely yeah the first thing that came to mind was olio coleman because i think she's really simple and she's just there and it's very unpretentious and it's just so well, everything is just on point with her. Um, I really like her. And uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge because she's a great writer um, and a great actor as well. And I, I watched Death to Me recently. So Christina Applegate as well, I thought was great in Death to Me. She's got a great comedic timing. She's got a great attitude about herself. Uh, so yeah, I would say, but it changes all the time because they're yeah. always new, yeah. amazing projects coming up. So it's, it's hard to, Pick one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, because I suppose this is a TV show rather than a film, um, I'm going to ask what, what um, back to Ariane again, um, what's your favorite TV show at the moment? Now, I know this can change because we're just bombarded with them constantly, but is there one standout for one for you at the moment? Oh, um, it is tough. There's so many of them. I mean, for me, one that definitely is still one of my favorites 100% is Fleabag. I think what she did was just completely new to TV and so funny. And at the same time, she brings in drama in a very beautiful way. Um, but then recently, I mean, during lockdown, I have to say I've watched Friends all over again, the whole the, yep. the 10 seasons, which are just as funny as they used to be. Um, and it's just, it's that kind of series that I love where you never get fed up with it. You just, you can watch it again and you'll always laugh. Even though you know the joke by heart, you will still laugh. Um, but recently, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. There's been so many, well, normal people, beautiful. Um, and I'm sure Rachel <laughs> will talk about that cause she was in it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but normal people was absolutely beautiful. Um, just mm. so well portrayed, so well written, so well directed. There was not a single thing I would have changed at all. So yeah. Fantastic. And the same question to you, Rachel. I think Normal People was one of the biggest slap of this year where everybody just went really crazy about it. And I thought it was really well made and the intimacy was amazing in it. So I really love Normal People. Uh, lately, I started watching The Sopranos, which I'm very late to the party, I know. Uh, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. So that's my last, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and then I always loved uh, Arrested Development. It's one of my all time favorite. Yeah. It's such great writing, such a great cast. It's just one of my ultimate favorite shows, yeah. Yeah, no, I must admit, it's one of mine as well. I'd love Arrested Development. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Guys, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us today. It's been great talking to you. Um, straight after this, we're going to have um, a trailer for Free at Last Agatha Raisin series, um, which is playing next Wednesday. Um, and you can see Call It A Day series on Saturday, the 18th of July. You can buy your tickets at unrestrictedview.co.uk. Thanks again, Ariane Pick and Rachel. Amazing. Pick. Lovely to speak to you both, and I'll see you soon, I hope. Thank see you so much. Lovely speaking to you. Bye. Who's Melissa? Uh, just a writer friend. Oh God, what's happened to us? You and Charles were all over each other. Hands off me, Froth. Agatha? There's no sign of James. Please, will you just come back to me? I need you to help me find out exactly who Melissa Shepherd was. We're from the Agatha Raisin Detective Agency. My wife says that you've been around asking questions. There's a dark underside to the Cotswolds. It's not all thatch cottages and cream teas. 